What we're going to do this morning is simulate a firefighter that has fallen through a floor area. Uh, for this morning, we are going to actually cut a hole in the roof of the second story portion of the hotel. We will have a firefighter in a second floor room, again, which will simulate that he has fallen through. So we're going to cut a hole, make the hole larger, then we're going to lower a rope system down through that hole, attach it to the firefighter, and then have the personnel actually pull that firefighter up through the hole, bring him up onto today the roof area, which again we would simulate would be the first floor or the second floor. We're going to package him in a Stokes basket, which is a device, uh, it's almost kind of like a stretcher, a portable stretcher, but we're going to package him in there, tie him in with rope, and then for this morning to get him off the second floor roof, we will attach that basket to the end of an aerial ladder and then rotate them off the roof and bring them down to the ground. How do you feel? Good. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> well, what I learned today with this building is it has a different type of roof construction I've never seen before. It was actually gypsum uh, underneath tar paper and, and stones. Um, it's an old type of construction that uh, I've never come across before. So from that perspective, it was a challenge to cut through that. Um, I don't know if you happen to see the uh, the smoke and the dust that was created when we were cutting the roof, but that was actually gypsum, which is similar to what you'd find in drywall. So uh, it, that presented a real challenge. Had we come out here for a true emergency, say for example, three o'clock in the morning, um, that would have presented uh, a formidable opponent to get through that roof had we not known that. You have to adapt as you encounter conditions. So had we come across that, we would have had to realize what we were dealing with and uh, adapt it accordingly. But in this business, that's a lot of what we do is we adapt and overcome.